Okay, my wonderful family is before the door we are all standing lies the door of no return. Now, this is the infamous door of no return. The original door of no return was not a big door like this. It was a very small door. Size-wise, it was a very small door like this. Very small door. Now, we call this door the door of no return because it was at this point that our sisters, I mean all of them, made their last exit. Once they walked through this door, they were never allowed to come back to Africa. Everything was taken away from them. The African men, women, and teenagers were all in chains and shackles. The men had to crawl through this door. My wonderful families, the big slave ships that transported all of our sisters from this very angle to the Americas were being anchored right there, about 100 meters away from here. So the English colonizers had smaller boats. They first forced them onto the small boats and then transport them to the bigger ones. The journey from here to the Americas took them four months or more. Many slave Africans preferred committing suicide because the conditions were very poor. It was a case for an African woman to get pregnant. The African men tried to find bad for their freedom of right. But all of them who tried were being killed instantly to put fear in the others. Over 40% 40, 40 of all the enslaved Africans who got transported from the West African region were being transported by the Portuguese. And Portuguese normally transported Africans to Brazil. That is why Brazil has a very large population of African people. My wonderful families, today we are going to walk through the door millions of our sisters walk through and they never send their food back to the motherland. But please, I believe in my soul that there's still hope for all black people. Take this from me. Black energy never dies. Mm. Please come. So family, here we are, live in the revolutionary camp at the Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeon. And this is the door of no return, which has been renamed the door of return because we have returned and uh, we are reconnecting for nation building. Stolen Africans returning. That's my brother. Take the journey of a lifetime, family, as we take you to all the incredible circle site. And two days from today, which is Tuesday, June 1st, we're going to take you to Asin Manso, to the African graveyard of two returning Africans as far as their graves. One from New York, one from Jamaica. So, we, so Ghana is set as a place for our reconnection because of all the significant and important sites dealing with stolen Africans and deal with our reconnection. So that is the best itinerary I have family to showcase that and also the best I have to showcase business and investment opportunity and tours. But you know what? Other people out there, they can expand into the countries that they see is best. But this is what we specialize in family, Ghana. It's our 19th time in Ghana and we are ready to take it to that next level. Perfect, uh, it's perfect time for your famous uh, group pitch, right, Mohammed? Yeah. Family, no money time but in the flesh. He does his libation, he took a good picture. Am I? Am I on the one you watch him? No, no, I'm not watching him. I'm not watching him. I'm not watching him. Oh, yeah. 
I wish I could understand you, see, because then we could talk. <laughs> but I'm not getting it. <laughs> I don't mean no harm. I'm okay. I'm okay. Libation water has been received. That's my man. Oh. That's my man. That's a lot of water for libation. Somebody trying to take a bath or something. This is how you do a bucket bath. Okay. Uh, all of our ancestors were being held in Cape Slave Castle across this ocean to the Americas. Now, this is the second phase of welcoming you back to the motherland. You take some of this. Take some of That's all. Nine beer. Today, my wife. Nine. Nine. Just do your hands on the top of your head. Yeah. On the top of your head, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you can also stick your head in. You can also stick your head in the bucket too, oh, for me. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going after you. Better you better behave. My money, you better behave. <laughs> That was funny though. Oh, that's what my grandmother used to do with her brother. He's so cute. Me too. You know he's like different too much. Brothers, you have brothers? I have brothers. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. 
Excellent, excellent. So family, that is it right there, family. We are reconnecting into the energy. And these waters represent uh, our ancestors being shipped away across the Atlantic to never return. So when I mean family, this is empowerment. Yeah. That's what this is, to be back from a situation that you are never to return. There you go, family, from the door of no return to the opposite side of the door of return. And it shows us coming in and the sign saying Aquaba. As we are welcome. And family, we walk this path. Not easy, but it's a part of the journey, part of the reconnection. So join us, come with us in solidarity as we reconnect to our roots and get our blessings, reconnect to our roots and build a sustainable nation for generations to come. <laughs>